Hello everyone, welcome back to Girls with Tana. Today I'm going to be doing a routine for you guys and doing a little bit of a product review on the side. So I just washed my hair, completely washed it, and it smells wonderful, all nice and clean, so I'm ready to start styling and yeah, let's get to it. So first of all, I'm going to re-wet my hair just a little bit because my hair is very dry and it just tends to kind of remain dry in some areas. So yeah, I'm just gonna use my spray bottle and just give it a good amount of water. I wanna do this because I don't want um, my product to be too con concentrated in my hair. I want to have some water so that I have a good mixture of water and product. And what's nice about this is because most products, if you even check your ingredients, most products always have water at the top. And so applying water before styling with products is not bad at all. And even if you have already styled and you wanna go back to refreshing, refreshing with water is also a good trick as well because your product has water. So adding more water into your hair is not gonna ruin it for you. So let me just grab my brush. Okay, so this is my detangler from the Perfect Hair Care, and I'm just gonna go straight into brushing and detangling. And you can see, because I re-wet my hair, my curls are clumping together, and you can tell that they are wet, just like that. Perfect. Next, I'm going to just apply my styling product. So I have decided for this wash and go, I'm going to be doing the Mixed Chicks Coil Kink and Curl Styling Cream. So this is really nice. It says it's supposed to be, it says that this rich formula conditions with six oils, retains moisture, promotes growth, and adds definition for wash and go. And so it's really nice and you can kind of see the consistency. It's a good consistency. It's very thick. And so I'm just going to grab kind of that right now and just work that into my hair. And I'm going to apply it through the ends. And I actually want to apply it throughout my whole hair. Just like that. So I'm applying it through the ends. And I'm going to grab more. Because this is going to be my product. I'm not going to be adding a gel, you can kind of see how this does on its own. You can already feel it is very moisturizing. I'm gonna get my problem areas, and these are the areas that are easy to frizz out after I've styled my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and just work on those so it's like all my hair is growing back. So it's kind of fun right at the roots, <laughs> that whole hairline, and I'm just gonna apply it there. And then same thing over here. I'm just gonna put a lot of product in that problem area. So hopefully that will have enough moisture to give me a wet look and not a dry look, just a more moisturized look for my curls, especially in the back. So you can kind of hear it. I definitely have enough product in my hair and I'm gonna go ahead and start separating. So I'll just wipe my hands. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take this and just take it, make sure my part's good. And then I'm gonna just go and try to do the best I can dividing my hair in half with just a, a little part. And this part does not need to be even at all. Like, honestly, just do your best. And then I'm gonna take that piece and I'm just gonna clip it like that. And then I'm gonna take my detangler brush again and I'm gonna brush it through. And this will help to focus on this section that I'm about to style. And it also helps to distribute product. So we're distributing that mixed cheeks styling cream right now. 
and I'm going to go ahead and work on this other side. And then next is my styling brush. So I could just style with this detangler if I wanted to, but I'm gonna use my denim brush because I love the results and I love the clumps I get. So we're gonna go ahead and just section the hair and then this is my denim brush. Um, when I bought it, it retailed for about $19 and it's awesome, like it's seriously a one job thing. So I can shake my curls to separate them and make sure they're not super clumpy and then I can go ahead and scrunch to just promote more curl definition there. And I like to alternate how I brush the denim so we can go outside and inside. This one is going to go away from me. And sometimes I forget if I did away from me or close to me last time, but it all ends up working out because by the time your curls are styled and dry, everything looks great. So we're going to just keep doing that. And the more you do this, like the easier it gets and it just becomes second nature and you get faster and faster at it. I think the first time I did my hair, like when I was really like figuring things out, probably took me like almost two hours maybe maybe an hour and a half we'll see how long this takes but so yeah and you can already hear the product and then I'm going to go ahead and go to this side and just work on the same thing I'm going to separate it and it's hard for me I tend to like use bigger sections over here so that's kind of my goal something I'm working on is to really even out the sections that I've been using. And then, yeah, you want to get it at an angle as to promote volume. And then, yeah, we're going to scrunch it. But I actually really love this styling cream because I feel like it really separates my curls and it helps me see how long my hair is. So definitely, like, a pretty good leg check when it's all wet and being styled. So there we go. And then like I said, we're going to scrunch the curls. And there. Alright, and then this is going to be the last section. And I always do the last section away from my face. Yeah, I'm actually pretty confident that my problem areas will end up being okay because I put more product in them and just focused on it. And what I like to do also when I'm done with this first section, I'm going to just take more product and just put it right there because, like I said, these are the first things to dry. And when I diffuse, I can have more time to kind of bring it back. But since I have those short hairs that are growing back, I need to kind of keep them down while I'm styling so that I don't make more frizz in the long run. So next I'm going to take a section here and then a section here on the other side. And then there's a back section, so I want to make sure that I just have my bangs here. So I'm going to add that here, and then this should just be the bangs and the front pieces that I'm gonna use a clip and keep that in place. Perfect. Okay, next up, of course, we're gonna go back to detangling the sides like we did before with the bottom half of my hair. And you can already see, like, you can see there's a lot of product in these front pieces, which is good. I want to have a lot of product like I said, I'm not going to be using a gel because I kind of want more volume and frizz is going to be okay, frizz is going to happen with curly hair, but this is kind of how I've been able to get more volume from my wash and go routines. 
and you can see my clumps are bigger in the second half it's a little bit harder to separate the hair so I just kind of do my best with that but yeah I do one side at a time and that seems to work out for me really well I hope this routine works out for you if you try it um, if not just keep researching there's so many other routines and ways to style your hair to make it look good and to make it work for you so just don't give up and just keep finding and until you yeah just keep searching until you find what works for you that yep that's kind of where we're going with this okay all right Next is this piece. And then again, I'm going to take some and just put it in that area. That was probably too much, but we'll work with it. I have a towel here and kind of put the rest of it on that. Okay. All right, so coming back, here are the results. Um, not from drying, but just from the styling. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it air dry and then I'm gonna diffuse. And then I'll come back with the finished look after it's completely dried and diffused and just show you guys how it turned out. So I will continue this soon. All right, so I'm back and my hair is pretty much all the way dry. And you can already see like the cast that I've gotten from this one product, the Mixed Chicks. So next I'm going to go and put some hair oil on it. This is Day Prickly Pear Hair Oil. It's um, a favorite hairline of mine. So I'm going to go ahead and just rub it through my hands. And then I'm just going to kind of rake it through my hair. And then I'm going to break the crunch. So I'm going to rake it through my hair. Actually, kind of praying hands method because I don't want to ruin all the curls that I just got and yeah I'm gonna just fluff it out I'm gonna be a little bit more bold with how I move my hair I'm not really scared of frizz and that's because my hands are coated if my hands weren't coated I'd be a little bit more scared of a frizz but I really want to get more volume so I'm gonna just go ahead and do that. But you can already see like this is what I've got for day one and usually you'll get more volume as time goes on, but I'm actually happy with this. And like I said, I didn't do a gel. So we'll see how it holds up and how everything goes. But for the most part, I really like how it's looking right now. And I think the volume is only gonna grow and grow and I'm just doing right now just a few things to help get more volume and I especially want to fluff out my roots more and then yeah making sure I'm doing the print hands method throughout and yeah there's gonna be a little bit of frizz on the top but I don't mind that so yeah these are the results and I really like it but let me know if you guys tried this and what you think. And if you like my video, please subscribe and hit that notification button. And I can't wait to be making more content for you.